Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Safe Cracker. And I've got some uh, Nag Champa incense burning here right next to me because I need to chill for a minute. <laughs> My stress is on just a different fucking planet at this point. Because I watched the Blazers have maybe the worst loss I've ever seen. It was like the worst fourth quarter and overtime sequence I may have ever watched as a basketball fan. <laughs> they were ahead by 16 points in the fourth quarter. And then they just absolutely imploded, blew the lead, and then lost by ten in the fourth or in in overtime in, in like this outlandish like twenty eight to seven run. It was oh, like the the fall of the Roman Empire was more graceful than that. <laughs> if 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 to put it to perspective, it was just whatever. So now I'm gonna get that out of the way. We're gonna have some fun, damn it, because I said so. So. In the last episode, if you could believe it, we uh, we opened up some safes, <laughs> seeing as that is the uh, that is the central focus of this game. And so when we went and solved the one in the dining room that had all the crazy paintings and whatnot on it, uh, we found this note in there from the guy whose name I'm not even, I'm not even gonna bother trying to, you know, incorrectly pronounce that thing again because well. It's just going to be that way. And uh, he gave us some interesting information on how to unlock this particular safe here. So, the general premise behind this safe, and I think it's one of the coolest concepts for one in this entire game, is uh, with this little machine here, if you scroll up on the bar a little bit, you will get a laser a to come out. With the help of a laser. That's a pretty cumbersome key. Thank you, Mr. English Accented Man, for interrupting me while I'm explaining. And so, you get to open this with a laser. Like, this Duncan W. Adams guy is a freaking genius. Like, he had, like, every idea in the books for, <laughs> for things to do with these safes. So, basically what we're doing here is uh, the more you scroll around on these numbers, you'll get different colored lasers. And as it said in this note, the wavelength required to unlock the safe is 8, I'm assuming nanometers, under the upper limit of a buttercup's color. And if you don't know what a buttercup's color is, it's uh, it's kind of like a, like a bright yellow, almost like a gold ish orange type of color and so that is where that is what we're looking for so you want to keep the five there that's like the base number you want to work with and so we'll scroll around here so obviously you go up a little bit further you start getting some different colored lasers so we got, what we got to find here is first we got to find the buttercups color which is right here this is that's the color we're looking for it's kind of that really bright yellow almost kind of like a golden rod type of deal so now we have to find the upper limit of it so if you go up to 593, you'll get orange. And so the upper limit of the Buttercup's color is five, is 92. And so, as it said, 8 below that. So if you're really good at math, like I am right now, you go up to 584 and ding, ding, buzza! How about it? And the thing just, like, collapses down. It's like, ah, my job is complete! So we get these we get these two really cool looking keys in the process. We get this awesome little gold key with that really cool design on the back, followed up by the even cooler version of the T-shaped key, which I think is awesome. I mean, how often do you see a T-shaped key? Virtually never. So we're gonna go put that T-shaped key to use right now. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not going to uh, ruin anything here. I'm not gonna give away too much. But those T-shaped keys in this game. They usually harbor all of the most important stuff. <laughs> so, as you remember, earlier in this game there was this leviathan of a safe in, at this end of the room, and believe it or not, it harbors a T-shaped key. So we'll put that thing to use, and this little animation right here when you put this key in, I think is really awesome. It's like those little shutters came down, and it kind of looks like a Pokeball on it, and it, then it, the whole thing just opens. And then we're left with this thing. I understand it's a piston, but you look at that thing, it kind of looked like uh, maybe like an old world like flavor injector, like the thing they inject like into meat and put flavor in there, or maybe like one of those old like pesticide things where you do the <laughs> and it would like shoot out stuff to like kill weeds and bugs or whatever. Or if we really got to go there, <laughs> could have been like a like a medieval version of a dildo with like a weird push button thing on there. I mean, it obviously it's not. It, they said it's a piston, so that's what it is. But you know what? These guys are billionaires, and 
it wouldn't I wouldn't put it past him for a minute if if that's what he was up to with it. Those guys are all really weird. I mean, that's just, you know, I wouldn't put it past Bill Gates for a second if he was using something like that for that purpose because he's weird. <laughs> You know, any guy with a lot of money is going to be a little bit off in the head. Obviously, why this guy had a weird obsession with safes, so, you know, whatever. So, now that we're back here at this hub again, what we're going to do is we're going to go put that piston to use down here in the old wine cellar. Which, by the way, is this not like a horrible location to put a cellar door? Like, how many times do you think he had like a, like one of his maids walking around with like a tray full of tea? And uh, or like something else that was obstructing her her view, and she ended up walking right into that, <laughs> going down there and just like you know crashing down the stairs and breaking like her spine or her sp or like severing her spinal cord or something, and then you know Duncan not wanting to give it away to the police had to like go bury her in the ground down here somewhere, and <laughs> we're gonna find like a mass grave and it's gonna be unearth an entire other investigation. Like, what else was he really up to? So before we can go down there, we get to deal with this interesting little cumbersome little douchely mate thing. That's a pretty complicated switch. You know, as complicated as it looks, this actually has one of the easier solutions out of all the safes in here. So with this, all you gotta do, believe it or not, is turn all of these dials in the upward position, and then uh, we will be we will be safe to land momentarily. It's uh you would you would have thought they would have made it so much more difficult than that, because how many people do you think like after like ten minutes of not being able to solve it they're just like ah whatever we're just gonna go all in one direction just because I'm getting frustrated with it and then it worked. <laughs> ah, now we can see something. Let's explore this cellar. Yes, indeed. Let's go explore the cellar. So if you go in here, this is uh. This is going to be our next little deal here, and that is why we went upstairs. We didn't come down here earlier, because we needed to have this piston, this little uh, piston Honda from Punch-Out, right in that spot. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to even do this puzzle at all. It just it wouldn't even be functional. So with this one, this may take me a couple minutes to do, because it's, it's kind of a tough one. What you have to do with this is you have to get these little... You have to transfer these little blue bars across these different tubes and you have to get four of them in here but obviously there's a little bit more to it than that so it's it's a tough little one so I'm, I'm gonna try the best I can here because it will fill up to capacity if like anytime you put those in any one of these it'll fill it up as far as it'll go and so it's a real pain I, I can't stand it with the full extent that I am as a man so let's just see what we can do here um, okay so basically what we need in order to solve this correctly is we need to have one little uh, little nub down here available and then to pretty much transfer a full version of this over in here is really what they're wanting us to do. So that is kind of what we're shooting for right now. Um, ah, crap. It's gonna happen again. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't see that right there. <laughs> Oh, my bad. That normally takes me a lot longer to get done than that, but, man, I'm so glad I didn't do the move I was just about to do. <laughs> that would have been so stupid. I was gonna take I was gonna take all of those, the ones from over on the left side, and move them back over, and then I would have ruined the whole thing for myself. <laughs> oh, that was great. Crisis averted! So, with that, now, before we go back upstairs and end our little stay in the cellar, we are going to go do this little one. And this is another really cool concept for how a safe works. I, I really like this one. So with this one, really interesting look, by the way. It kind of looks like uh, these little things. They kind of look like alien inscriptions or something. So with this, you can't just simply pick one right in front of you. The only way that you can advance the circuit and complete the whole thing is to skip one at a time. It's the only way you can do it. If you accidentally mess up, then you're going to be screwed. You can go diagonally, but it has to be, you have to land directly on it in order for it to work. Like, you can't go around corners like, say, it was here. You can't jump over to here and have it work. It's got to be right on the money. So, you got to finagle the right combination here to make it work, and you have to get all the way up over here. So, if I remember correctly, and this one could be troublesome, I, I, I mess this one up a lot. I think I understand how that works. Now, I just have to work out the rest of it. Okay, so I think I, I got to look at this for a second here to make sure I don't mess it up. Uh, we go up this way, yeah. 
Okay, yep, I think I got it. You gotta go down this way. I always end up getting myself in trouble by going this way first, and it, it just it doesn't work that way. Then you gotta go up this way. Don't get fooled by that. It, it kind of looks like the way you should go, but don't do it, because I told you to. You go up to the second one here. Then you come down, and just like that, Mr. Anderson, solving the puzzle. Okay, so with this, we get another cool little nifty looking key, and we get this GPS key card, which we'll use that, not, we won't use that for a while, but that, uh, the puzzle that we get to use that key card in is actually pretty fun. I really like that one. And then we picked up this little, uh, little brass key, so we'll go use that right now, because there's a spot that we can use that immediately in. And, uh, that'll conclude our stay here in the wine cellar, which, by the way, how nice are we? I mean, we're sitting here solving puzzles and trying to figure out the lost will, and we're not even going to steal a bottle out of that wine cellar for ourselves. I mean, we are we are a regular bon vivant if we're, you know, if we're not allowing that to happen. So, we'll take this little brass key and toss it in here, and this will unlock yet another area. And so, this is where things really take a turn. We're not going to go up the stairs just yet. That's where... That's where this is really gonna, it's really gonna take a left turn and things are gonna get pretty wacky. So before we do that, we'll go unlock this door, just for the sake of doing it, and that will take us right back out here. So as you, as you saw earlier, um, when we did the thing with the piston, that started putting water into this fountain here, there's gonna be a puzzle involved with that in a few minutes. So we're not, we're not quite to that point just yet. Um, but we will, don't worry, we will get there. So one thing we need to do, and I think it'll probably be the last safe that we do uh, in this episode, is we're going to go up here, up in this weird little upstairs kitchen. Why have a kitchen upstairs, by the way? I always thought that was weird. Like, maybe have the dining room up here, and then have the kitchen down here. Because you're, you got to... Actually, you know what? I take that back. They got one of those, they got one of those dumbwaiter things here. That actually makes it way easier. Totally erase everything I just said there. So, speaking of which, we've got a little puzzle with that on its own. With a note. Let's have a look at this letter. Dear Uncle Duncan, I hope you are well and that you are enjoying your well-deserved retirement. I want you to know that I've always been on your side, even when the rest of the family was against you and thought you were eccentric and mad. You must know that we've not all had your luck, but the family should stick together. I would be so grateful if you could help us. Our monthly obligations are increasingly difficult to meet. Sincerely, Elizabeth. Boy, if that's not the most brown-nosing sounding thing ever, I just wanted you to know that I've always been on your side because everybody else thinks you're completely out of your mind, but hey, can you give me some money? <laughs> oh, Elizabeth, you little piece of crap. So with this one, it's it's a little bit of trial and error. Like, I don't actually quite remember the order in which to do this one, but there is something inside of this that we really, we really need to get. And uh, you have to do it by raising and lowering these, and we're, we're going to need that. It's just uh, getting it so that it's perfectly level. Because, you know, why why wouldn't he... This dumb waiter is a bit stubborn. I mean, why wouldn't he just reach his hand in there and take it? <laughs> why does he have to wait for it to be, you know, right where he wants it to be? I don't know. Whatever. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh! Yeah, this is a tough one for me. I always, I always forget the order that you gotta do this in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, just reach and grab it, man. It's right there in front of you. Oh, that kills me. It really does. That one really gets me. Aha! Yes! <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be forward with you right now. I had no idea what I was doing on that one. That is a puzzle that it's just, you just got to hit buttons until you figure it out. Because I, I don't know the actual order on how that's to be done. So, you know. So, so we're not going to deal with that one yet. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that door situation out much later. So, now that we got that special little pipe key, uh, we'll put that to use in a little bit. But we have run out of time for this episode, so when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Safe Cracker, we need to go back downstairs and we need to go back into the museum because there's a little series of, of little puzzles we have to do 
for one fairly significant thing there. So, and that'll be our main thing. And oh god, I hate that one so much, but it's got to be done. So, when we come back on the next installment, we'll do that. And uh, until then, my friends, this is AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Take care.